Let's get our creativity on and let's make our own solar system. Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be making our own solar system that can sustain life the best. So we are going to be using our own sun today. So our solar system sun. And we are going to be deploying or placing as many planets as we can in the habitable zone and alter them so basically life is available on that planet. So let's start off with Mars, which used to have life on it. They are pretty sure of that. So I am aiming for maybe around five degrees on the planet, maybe a exception of three to four. So it is 8.89, so that's within the exception, the failure rule. And let's see how it is looking. It would be warm enough for life, but radiation, man, radiation. So let's go ahead and pause the simulation and let's add a bit more water. In fact, let's add some water at all. So we don't want too much, so it's a waterish planet, but we want just a bit. We have to be quite careful because it develops quite a bit quite quickly in the way of water. See that? So, yeah, that's a good amount of water. A bit less. Maybe a bit more. Not a bit more, a bit less more. You know what I mean? Get rid of it a bit more. Yeah, that's a good amount. So it looks as if that is habitable enough. And look at this. A bit of land masses. Quite a bit. Lakes within the planet. And within the actual craters of asteroid impacts. And a nice big lake at the bottom. And this is a huge ocean, so I'd be afraid to go in that. Maybe a few little islands, maybe. Maybe. Like, little islands like that. That actually looks a lot like Hawaii, to be honest. And, of course, we can see our, our craters. So, that is... Let's see if we can alter its atmosphere a bit. Just a little bit. We don't have to do too much, otherwise it will burn away. So let's go to the density, no, rotational period, maybe it's under climate, atmosphere mass, Earth. so it is not much, so we don't want to alter it by much, let's double it, and it seems like that will do for it, a few clouds, very thin atmosphere. I'd say, let's have a look. The chances of life. Sometimes this can be quite unreasonable. Average height, 14.5 kilometers. So that's kind of like mountain height. Um, let's add a climate. So it's got ice caps now on one side and a bit of ice on that side. Big ice cap actually on that side. That is quite interesting to look at. Very interesting. Yes, we want to show clouds. And the surface pressure, not much, not much at all. But enough to sustain life. There's glaciers probably around the planets. Some, a lot of water there. So we are done with Mars. I'd say this is more sea creature life. Definitely sea creature life. So let's go ahead and add another planet. Let's add Venus, should we? Let's see what we can do with Venus. So Venus is not too far away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Venus does not look gassy this far away from the sun, but look at it. It's. I think it's because this side is reflecting light more than that side and can actually see magma the temperature yeah 339 degrees let's change that should we so if we go into our temperature and let's go to the let's see what we can do the atmosphere mass not much of earths let's turn down your greenhouse to two can't really change it, to be honest. Um, oh, now it's gone right down to like 
very low temperatures. Let's see if we can change it to 15 and make it stay 15. Seems like all we... Okay, so... Okay. So we can't stabilize it that far down. The greenhouse? Oh my god. What happened to... It's 600 degrees. Guys, what did I do? Let's maximize this. Let's maximize that. Um, I really want to have a temperature of 14 degrees on this planet. So it seems like we can do that by entering it manually. Yep, that's what we want. And let's go ahead and let's add a bit of water. See how long that can last for. No, we don't want a water world. Go away. No, no, not completely go away. Just enough. Just enough. So I'm expecting like Mars maybe double the amount is needed. Okay, we're starting to see water on the surface. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It would be a land of islands. A lot of islands. So a little land, water, heaps of colonies. I would expect if the Earth, like humans, decided to populate this Earth similarity. It's actually a lot. Life likelihood. 47%. Mm, quite interesting. Quite, quite interesting. Ah, oh, wait. Yeah, 47%. That is my bad. <laughs> um, what was that like? 0.4 of a percent. 0.4% life like. Jesus. The temperature. Yeah. The effective temperature is going like a pulse of the heart. That is quite scary though. It's like, now. Um... Sometimes that can be a bit funny. I'd say, again, ocean life. There are gases, though. Looking at the materials. The materials. I can't even alter them. Oh, there it is. We want to get quite a bit of silicate away and add a bit more iron. Oh, let's have a look at earths, shall we? So let's go ahead and let's add earth and let's go, okay, what have you got? So we want 75%-ish of this and 24% of that. So if I want around there, around there. And then if we go here, let's see if that altered anything. Yeah, I brought it up by like point something. Just literally a little bit. Let's show him. Magnetic fear. Um, is there any way we can go and enter the climate? It seems like it's way too hot. Oh, I made it a frozen ball. What? Okay. Um, that's my bad. Oh god, now it's a bloody oh oh no, no way. Why? Okay, so Venus is a complete loss. Can't make life out of that. It would take too long. So let's go ahead and let's... I guess we could try a exoplanet. Let's try an exoplanet. Let's try a Kepler planet. So quite close to the Earth. Um, I'd say I'm pretty sure this is a water planet, isn't it? Yeah, it is. What happens if we get rid of some water? It's kind of icy. Temperature drops. So it seems like it's an ice planet. Very cold. Very, very cold. Um, let's turn down the Alibro. And let's see if that changes much. We don't want to get rid of order. By the looks of it, it is going to keep going up quite a bit. Well... Yeah, that's what we around what we want, and let's get rid of some water. So it seems like it's got not much landmass. So I really just want to go click, click, click now. 
cluck, cluck. Okay, so that's enough water. Oh my god, it actually kind of looks like a landmass of Alaska right there, just on a larger scale. You can see it kind of looks like Europe a bit, but you know, it's its own planet. It's got some similar similarities. My grammar is so bad, I tell you. Like, let's go into temperature and let's see what the life like is and how. Okay, so it seems like I want to add a bit of an atmosphere as well. I can try that. I will try that. But first, let's. It seems like Earth similarity is just so bad. So I might go. Of thus 0.4 of Earth. Oh, Jesus. A bit too much. A bit too much. A bit too much. Ah, uh, crap. Ah, uh, shit. Great. That, that's probably altered the planet quite a bit. Um, so, it, we have to go by kg. What happens if we add 1 kg? 1 kg of atmosphere. What would happen? Would it burn up? By the looks of it, it's going to bloody burn up. Well, 1 kg of atmosphere. It just can't have any atmosphere, guys. So, water could, you know, it could... Whoa, 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 whoa. You're too close, man. You're too close. No, 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 collision. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. So, that's what's causing the temperature uprise. Oh, my God. That is my bad. Sorry, Earth. Um, so, that is why everything's been failing. Um with being killing Earth off, and that's probably altered other planets as well as Venus, Mars, let's see how Mars is doing, how's Mars doing after a year, Mars is actually gaining ice, interesting, so the ice is expanding, it must be going into an ice age, interesting, we'll see how that goes, temperatures dropped, um, let's add another planet. Let's be cheeky and add Pluto. Why not? So Pluto doesn't have much of an atmosphere and we want to work with that. So let's put it quite, not too close to the sun, but, you know. Um, so it is still quite cold. Um, let's see if we can change it to 15. Nope, it doesn't want to. It does not want to. So it's probably unlikely. Let's try and add some water. Don't need much of water. No can do. Seems like water cannot be on Pluto. Interesting, interesting, interesting. It's just burning away. Pluto cannot be so close to the sun. Cannot sustain life at all. I'm sorry, that didn't last long. Let's try it. Let's try an actual planet again. Um Hmm. Let's try Kepl another Kepler. And let's see what we can do with you. So it's an ice planet. Okay, now it's a water planet. So it's averaging around 18 degrees ish. Which is quite decent to work with. So it can sustain water life already. Uh, yeah, 31 degrees. Tropical type weather. Around the entire planet. So let's see. Can we remove a bit of water? Let's try that. Let us try that. So I believe it's around 74% for a land mass to occur. Yep. Around 74% it starts to come in. Add a bit less. Okay. So we've got some land masses. Quite nice land masses actually. Don't need much water added to have land land completely submerged. So I could imagine that it's flat, quite flat. Earth similarity. My grammar is on point. Likelihood of life is zero. Sad, sad. 94% just like Earth. So quite a bit. Quite a bit. Let's go ahead and let's add a climate. Can we add a climate? I really want to add a climate. How do you add a climate again? Maybe it's under temperature. So it seems like, yeah, it could support temperature if there was kind of like a atmosphere. So how big are you? So let's go ahead and let's, 
let's 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 add a bit more of our atmosphere. This is our last planet to alter. So hopefully we can go on on with a high note. Out of here with a high note. Damn my grammar's so bad again today, guys. Never trust me with my grammar. I'm surprised I've made it to A English. I'm surprised I made it to college. Jesus Christ. Um, where's the atmosphere mass? Here it is. So it's about six times the moon, so let's make it one times. Oh no! I screwed up yet again. What? Even like a one thousandth is very hot. That is quite concerning for planets like this. Maybe if we add another zero. It lowers. Oh yeah. It's getting to that point where, hey, there's an atmosphere and we can sustain water. Very low life, though. Very low life. So it seems like 60 degrees, yeah, that can that can hold some life. A little bit. So it seems like, nope, that's all you can do. Blue reflections, a blue sky, blue clouds, what? That would be pretty cool. So life on here would... Well, look at the atmosphere mass compared to Earth's. Look at it. Look at it, guys. It's like a millionth, like a trillionth of what Earth has. But it's so tiny at the same time. So it's kind of like, you need this much to support, otherwise we'll burn. So that can sustain humans if we had the technology to actually survive that temperature. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description. I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to talk a bit more on the explosion on the sun. Yes, we are going to do a explosion of the sun. Remember to subscribe for more content. Twitter and Instagram links are in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Now, let's explode the sun. So basically, supernova state. Bam. Now solar system's dead. Completely dead. 2000. 27,000 degrees Celsius. See you guys later.